guys that'll do absolutely anything to win inside the ring. Absolutely right. They are not above breaking or bending the rules in order to pull out the W. Brian Ireland and his tag team partner, Sweet Stevie Lee, a little bit more on the up and up, and they're just looking for a good hard fight. The referee is going to have his hands full with these four in the ring tonight, especially with Elvis. I got to tell you, Donnie and Billy Red, there's something truly wrong with that guy. I agree with you on that one, Don. Both these guys definitely do not have both boys in the water. But the other team, the young fellows from Toronto, Ontario, are going to have their hands full because when this Elliot and Stone get in that ring, they have no respect for the rules whatsoever. Just take the rule book. Throw it out the window, ring the bell, and let it go. Absolutely right. This is going to be tag team action at its finest. Double teaming, you're going to see plenty of it. All sorts of action. High flying, mat wrestling, technical skill. All four of these men can definitely go. And there you see a quick kick to the midsection as the referee was occupied in the corner with sweet Stevie Lee. Elvis Elliott putting the boots. Look at the intensity. This man came ready to go. Big knife edge chop in the corner. But back comes Ireland. Headbutt takes down Elliott. And another one kick to the midsection. Look at him. He's on fire, folks. Big knife edge. He asks the crowd if they want more. And he responds. Climbs the ropes now. Punches to the top of the head. Oh! Snake eyes off the top turnbuckle. That's what you get with the larger, more powerful man, Elvis Elliott, just being able to shift the weight a little bit and control the smaller opponent. You're absolutely right. Brian, Brian Ireland really tried a high-risk maneuver there, just like he did that time. That one paid off. The one before did not. That's what the problem is with high-risk maneuvers. It can either make a match for you or it definitely can cost you a match. Both teams make the tag. Now it's Sweet Stevie Lee and Kodiak Stone in the ring. Kodiak takes his man down, but Stevie Lee, look at him. He is pumped. He is ready to go. Kicks to the leg, trying to work on the big man. Kick to the leg. Oh, what a kick to the back. Down goes Scott Stone. Shots to the midsection. Punch to the side of the head. Cauliflower ears are going to be the symptoms in the morning. You're absolutely right there. I tell you, I like the style on this Stevie Lee. He's got a lot of intensity. He goes for it all times in the ring. Baseball slide underneath, hooks the leg, and there's a tag to his partner. I don't think Stone is aware. Up and over with a bulldog maneuver. Scott Stone is down. Brian Ireland was totally in control. But right now, it looks like, I'm sorry, Donnie. Go ahead. It looks like that the uh, tactics and the tag team skills of the Stevie Lee and Brian, El Brian Ireland team are outdoing Elvis and Scott Stone right now. Huge chop in the corner. There's a whip to the buckle. Stone comes in, misses the double axe. But he didn't miss the clothesline. He nearly took Brian Ireland's head off. And there he gets one from the other side from that lunatic, Elvis Elliott. There's a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And he tags in the madman. Handful of hair. Come on, referee, get in there. Oh! And Byron Ireland's in a world of hurt if he can't get back to the corner and tag Stevie Lee. He's been in there for quite some time now, Brian has, and he's got both of those monsters working him over. I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how fast you are, or how many people you've trained with. No one can defeat two men in a two-on-one situation. He's going to have to tag the pressure man. There's a face first gourd buster. What is this now? Stone picks him up. Some sort of a wheelbarrow. This is it, their finisher, the attitude adjustment. 
this match is over, gentlemen. Hooks the leg. No, he saves him. I thought for sure that was the one, two, three. They've won many tag team titles all over North America with that very move. I agree with you 100%, Donnie. I thought it was too, but Stevie Lee has, a, has the wherewithal to get inside that ring and break up the pinfall. Sweet Stevie Lee waiting for the tag. And look at that stone. Just fast body drops his own man. Brian Ireland now. He ducks underneath. And Stone clotheslines his own man. Look at him go. Flying head scissors. He's got to make the tag. The race is on. Can Brian Ireland make it to the corner before Elliott or Stone get to him? Inching ever closer. Elliott looking to get a hand on Ireland. There's the tag. Up goes up. Sweet Stevie. Double clothesline. Stevie Lee is a house of fire. Stone goes up and over. Irish whip to the rope. And a spine buster. There's a tag. Ireland ascends to the top of the perch. Right now, there's no question, Donnie. Ireland and Lee are the more great move. They are the more cohesive tag team. Stone and Elvis don't seem to know what they're doing half the time. Another close count after the frog splash. Referee admonishing Scott Stone for making the save. But I gotta be honest with you, we may not appreciate the antics of Scott Stone and his tag team partner, Elvis Elliott. But if he didn't make the save there, this match would have been over. Absolutely correct. That's the thing about Stone and, and Elvis. You might not like the, what they're doing inside the ring. Look at this move. Elliott with the moonsault. And again, another save. These two teams are leaving it all in the ring tonight. Wow! A standing spine buster, but he gets caught with the choke slam. Down he goes! Wait a minute, look behind you, Stone. Ireland on the top. There's a drop kick. And you've got four men that are spent inside this ring. They've put it all out like you said before. And right now, and whose rejuvenative powers can get them back up will determine who's gonna win this match. I think at this point in the match, Billy Red, it's safe to say it's going to be an endurance test. It's gonna be a matter of which team can last just a little bit longer as both of them seem almost spent. Yeah, I agree with you, Don. I was just gonna say, these fellas are setting one, one awful fast pace. And it's just gonna be a... Uh, uh, a matter of who runs out of gas first, I think. And there's where the, the lighter team comes into, uh, I think they have the advantage in that respect. They were doing great just a minute ago. And if they could only stay out of the... Oh, my... Double pin! There we go, we got it. One, two, three! Brian Arlen gets the win! <laughs> Brian Ireland and his tag team partner Sweet Stevie Lee celebrating after that fantastic roll-up. But take a look over here. Yeah. There seems to be a little confusion here, gentlemen. I don't think the referee knows which team got the pinfall. Both teams were in a pinning position. And the winners of the match, superstar Elvis Elliott and Kodiak Scott Stone, the Ohio Mob Squad. Now this is a surprising turn of events. I realized that Elliott had his man down in a pinning position, but I don't think he was the legal man, Ron. I don't. Th I think you're right, Donnie. I don't think he was either. But the referee's call is final, and the only thing for Stevie Lee and Brian Ireland to do is to protest the ACW commissioner, Waldo Von Erich. Scott Stone and Elvis Elliott are still in the building with a victory underneath their belts.
That's right. We won. Right in the center of the ring. One, two, three. We walked through them. They're not even heavy with the little flyweights. We walked right through them. You know, there's a little controversy no or controversy, something. No. No, controversy. no wait a, a minute. Count. There is controversy. It was a three count just like we there said. There is controversy. Stevie Lee and Brian Ireland want a rematch. No rematch. We want the tag team titles right now, just like we said we were. We're the best. We proved it tonight. Back with more wrestling after this timeout.